What it do? It's your dude, Osmo, back at it again with another reaction. You feel me? We back at it again. Got Jamie Foxx this time, man. Supposedly, somebody tried to kill him. That's kind of crazy, bro. Supposedly. Well, supposedly. That's, more, that's how you say it, right? Anyway, I thank you guys for stopping by, man. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Jamie Foxx is still in the hospital following mysterious medical complications, and he allegedly told the police that someone tried to unalive him. So, Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. Jamie's family hasn't disclosed the reason why Jamie was hospitalized. However, reports recently popped up online that the police visited Jamie at the hospital because someone tried to take his life. After news of Jamie Foxx's recent health crisis hit the internet, we were confronted with more shocking information about the entertainer's life that many people were unaware of. Different theories are now spreading on social media about Jamie's hospitalization. From people claiming that someone's trying to send a message to Jamie because he tried to stand up to the Hollywood elites and others, speculating that Diddy might have something to do with this because Jamie re It's always P. Diddy's fault. Like everybody, everybody always tries to blame P. Diddy. Like, like, come on, bro. It's possible, though. It is very possible. I'm not going to say it's not possible, but like, I feel like P. Diddy's like the scapegoat for every conspiracy theorist. Like, for real. Recently started sharing details about Diddy's infamous parties. So what's really going on with Jamie Foxx? Did someone actually try to unalive him? On Wednesday, April 12th, TMZ reported that Jamie Foxx suffered, quote, a medical complication, claiming also that sources with direct knowledge confirmed Jamie's condition was serious enough that he was hospitalized. He was taken to the hospital and it was bad. Bad enough that family members from out of outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. Later that day, Jamie's daughter, Corinne Fox, shared an update via Instagram, claiming that her dad's condition is improving. However, she didn't reveal any details about the reason Jamie had to be hospitalized. Corinne's statement read, from the Fox family, we wanted to share that my father, Jamie Fox, experienced a medical complication yesterday. Luckily, due to quick action and great care, he is already on his way to recovery. We know how beloved he is and appreciate your prayers. The family asks for privacy during this time. Some initial reports speculated that Jamie had suffered a stroke. However, this hasn't been confirmed by Jamie's family. And while Jamie is apparently doing well, he still hasn't been released from the hospital. And there are a lot of conflicting reports about what really Damn, he's still in the hospital, you guys. Like, whatever happened to him, it was, it was very serious. That's just crazy, man. Somebody somebody really tried to take out Jamie Foxx, bro. It's not really funny, but it's kind of, like, almost shocking. Like, what the hell? Jamie Foxx? Like, him being assassinated is, like, the last way I would have thought he would have died. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't die, so it's a blessing, man. We need to actually, like, low-key pray for Jamie Foxx, man. Hopefully he makes it out okay, man. What really happened to him? On Friday, April 14th, one source told People Magazine that Jamie's condition is steadily improving. However, Jamie's rep declined to respond to People's request for comment. But then the story took another bizarre turn over the weekend when reports emerged on social media that the police visited Jamie at the hospital and that he allegedly told them that someone tried to unalive him. Jamie Foxx told the cops somebody is trying to kill him, one fan tweeted. I'm telling you, man, it's like they have a timer of these celebs' lives. I believe him. All kinds of conspiracy theories are now starting to spread online, with many fans claiming this is just another example of what happens to celebs who refuse to be controlled. I felt that he said no to something, and that's why he had that stroke, one Twitter user said. This is a fairly healthy man that stays out the way. They unalive these celebs, make them go broke, and take away work just so that they submit. Some fans are also saying the situation could be connected to a recent incident on the set of Jamie's upcoming Netflix movie, Back in Action, starring Cameron Diaz. On March 21st, the Daily Mail reported that Back in Action was halted after Jamie discovered that someone had been plotting to steal $55,000 from him during the film production. 55 racks, bro? What the hell? How do you go to a movie set and almost get robbed for 55 grand, bro? That's crazy. That's the Hollywood shit. Like, that's, man, being being rich and famous ain't everything, bro. People, when people try to rob you, they try to rob you for big bank, bro, for big bank. That's just crazy. Jamie apparently contacted the police about the scam, and according to the Daily Mail, bosses of Back in Action paused the production of the movie to carry out an investigation. 
The investigation reportedly led to a member of staff getting fired, and it turned out this person was linked to other attempted scams on celebrities in the past. Meanwhile, The Sun reported that Jamie completely lost it after discovering a plot to scam him, and he fired several other senior producers on the spot in a furious rage on set. An insider close to the situation also told The Sun that something strange has been happening with this movie, and it almost feels like someone is trying to sabotage it on purpose. This film has been a bit of a nightmare, the insider said. There have been a lot of delays, especially with the weather, thanks to filming outdoors in London in winter, but the latest issue is a bit more sinister. The source explained that there are multiple investigations being carried out after someone tried to get access to Jamie's cash. It sounds as though they tried to offer up a Rolex watch as part of the deal, but now there's an investigation into everything going on, the insider said, adding, people will be glad when this thing finally wraps. Back in Action was supposed to be Cameron Diaz's comeback movie. However, according to The Sun... Yo, that is kind of crazy. Me and my wife, we was just talking about uh, Cameron Diaz. And actually, what, what happened was I, I was watching a movie and I seen Lucy Liu. And I haven't seen Lucy Liu in forever. And I just love Lucy Liu, Cameron Diaz, and uh, Drew Barrymore, and Charlie's Angels. And my generations of Charlie's Angels, because I know there's an older generation of Charlie's Angels. But my generation of Charlie's Angels was dope. And I was just like... Damn, they need to make another movie or get together do something like this like we ain't seen them like when was the last time you seen drew barrymore or something like the situation on set was such a nightmare for cameron that she's now planning to quit film acting again now it's not exactly clear how the situation could have led to jamie's hospitalization but fans are convinced the two incidents are somehow connected and while some fans are saying jamie most likely suffered a stroke or a similar medical emergency due to stress others are saying something seems suspicious about the whole thing in fact, many fans said they wouldn't be surprised if someone really tried to take Jamie's life. Jamie knows the game and the industry very well, one fan commented. They're trying, and he knows it. I'm so glad he was smart by calling and informing the police. All the odd signs on set. Yeah, he saw those signs and took all precautions he could, including making sure family was there with the quickness. Praying for you, Jamie. Fans are also saying it's weird that Back in Action director, Seth Gordon, doesn't want to wait for Jamie to leave the hospital, and he's reportedly already started shooting new scenes with Jamie's stunt double. According to a recent report by Marka, Gordon- Yeah, that is kind of sus. It's almost like he already, like, he expected Jamie to die, and he already had all the parts he needed for Jamie done. So he could just fill the rest with his stunt double. That's crazy, bro. How are you going to continue the movie without Jamie Foxx? Like, that's crazy. Gordon is currently using Travis Parker, Jamie's stunt double, as a stand-in for some of his scenes. So does this mean Jamie's condition is more serious than is being reported and the director knows Jamie won't return to filming anytime soon? Well, Jamie's fans are definitely concerned about all these bizarre coincidences, and they're speculating someone's trying to get rid of Jamie. Some fans also pointed out that Jamie has been trying to branch out from being an entertainer. However, just months ago, news broke that his directorial debut, sports comedy All-Star Weekend, was shelved. Several outlets reported that the project was shelved due to casting issues. The Google Career Certificate changed my life. Being able to connect with employers, However, Jamie hinted in a recent interview that he's facing difficulties because he's not allowed to write jokes about certain topics. It's been tough with the lay of the land of comedy, Jamie said. We're trying to break open those sensitive corners where people go back to laughing again. Fans are now saying it's starting to look like someone's trying to sabotage Jamie because he tried to break the mold and his hospitalization could be a warning about what can happen to him if he starts going against the grain. One fan said, really starting to seem like every time we let people try to get into spaces that are dominated by other cultures, a lot of weird negativity stuff happens. And I don't think this is a coincidence, and it's like, enough is enough. Jamie Foxx is unproblematic, and all of a sudden, the first time he's directing a movie, all this drama? And another person added, that was the first thing I thought about. Jamie is going to have to be careful with who he's around. I wouldn't allow no one to prepare my food, make drinks, or anything. Get well soon. That's crazy. I was low-key thinking that, like, maybe it sounded like he was low-key kind of poisoned, you know what I'm saying? Because stabbing or getting shot, like, obviously, that's obvious. Like, I, I, I feel like we would have known if it was that. But since he went to the hospital, like, sick, he probably knows he was poisoned. There's so, there's all kinds of poisons out there that when it gets in your body, it just dissolves and just goes away. You know what I'm saying? Leaving no trace of what happened to you. Like, it just makes you have a heart attack or make you have a stroke. And so people are like, oh, he died from a natural cause. And really, he was poisoned. You know what I'm saying? 
but there's no evidence in your blood. So they just say you had a natural death. You know what I'm saying? But like, like I said, it, this probably happened to Jamie Foxx. He probably really tried to poison him. But luckily, he knew he got poisoned and got to the hospital fast enough so he wouldn't die from it. But it might have done a lot of damage, you know, because we haven't seen from or really heard from Jamie Foxx since this happened. You know, he's saying his family coming out. Jamie. But there's Can another equally bizarre theory about Jamie's sudden hospitalization, and it involves Jamie's longtime acquaintance, Diddy. Rumors about Diddy being in the closet and throwing depraved parties for other stars on the DL have been around for years. However, over the past few months, the conversation surrounding Diddy's infamous parties took a wild turn after fans started saying Diddy is the gay gatekeeper in the industry. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Lee. Yeah, I love it. Like, yeah. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my back Daddy, again, I like when you, when oh, you right scrambling here, right and here. scraping. No, 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 I, got I no like that. Yeah, I'll be practicing. Okay. Now, if you're wondering what that all has to do with Jamie Foxx, well, a clip recently went viral showing Jamie confessing that he used to film some of Diddy's wildest parties back in the day. I would show up to the party in my little uh, in a little town car. There's town, you know. I grabbed my town car so I could skirt. Puff the SUVs and the road and the Bentleys, the whole night. He get out. I get out too with a camera. The big cannon, like, yo, Puff, I should document this, shit, right? Yo, what's up, Playboy? <laughs> what, what, what you talking about? I said, I should get this, man. You, Files, with a whole night. He says, uh, yeah, let him through. Excuse me. So I get the, <laughs> yeah. but at that time, it wasn't like the little camera y'all got in. It was the big intrusive cannon. I had a battery pack. Hold on, man. Let me change the pack. Put my light on here. Do that again, Puff. Do that again. I missed that one. Do that again. Put the pack. So I started following him. Wow. So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel filming this. And this is why some fans are now saying all these recent incidents with Jamie. Yo, when you think about that, that's kind of crazy, bro. He was like P. Diddy's cameraman. Like, ain't nothing new under the sun, bro. Like, Jamie Foxx was literally vlogging P. Diddy's life before vlogs existed, bro. You know he seems, he know, you know he filmed some wild shit that would never reach the public. You know he filmed some wild shit. Whatever the wildest thing you can imagine, Jamie Foxx filmed it, bro. He may be connected to him speaking out on Diddy's parties. One fan pointed out that Al B. Schur, the biological father of Diddy's adopted son, Quincy Brown, was also recently hospitalized and spent two months in a coma. Damn. I was thinking Puffy has something to do with it, only because of what happened to Al B. Schur. I'm just saying, my opinion. And another person wrote, now I know why Jamie got sick, talking about Diddy's flavor camp. So I guess Usher should know. But how do you feel about all these theories surrounding Jamie's hospitalization? Do you believe someone actually tried to take his life? We want to hear your theories on this, so comment down below. And don't miss out on this next story. Nah, definitely somebody tried to take out Jamie Foxx, man. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just sus. Like, who, like, why wouldn't he just tell everybody, like, what's wrong with him if he's sick? Like, what's the sickness, bro? Like, it's not like he's trying to hide, like, cancer or something, bro. Something obviously happened to him. Um, hopefully the truth actually comes out about what happens and, like, we can figure out what happened to your boy, Jamie Foxx, man. Like, I've, I've grown up with Jamie Foxx and to see him go out like this would just be sad, bro. If he had, like, some kind of brain injury or he's not, like, 100% no more, that's just, just going to be sad to see, bro. Like I said, man, money ain't everything, man. Fame ain't everything, man. A lot of times we be having, as regular people, we be having a lot more than the most richest people, most famous people, bro. Because, all, like I said, all you need is love, family, and God, bro. You got those three things, trust me, you're solid. With that being said, I'm about to get out of here. If you love the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I've been trying to keep it down. That's why the energy is kind of low because I don't want to wake up my baby because finally got him to go to sleep. So, <laughs> I'm not waking him up. All right, man, I'm out of here. Catch you guys on the next one. I need a haircut.